I'll go back to some more Resident Evil HD Remastered. We're gonna play some... Resident Evil. Some Chris Redfield now, since we played Jill before. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll play Resident Evil 5, Chris. Why not? Anyway, let's play. Y'all ready for this? Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Chris, haven't found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. Into the survival horror. It can't be. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker. Jill and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. It's like she's already saying goodbye to us, dude. Like, why? <laughs> Wait, I should install the no door mod again. Just one second. Okay, mod is installed. I don't know if with Chris we can actually just grab this from the get-go. I don't think we can, but I'm gonna try. From the status screen, select the item and examine these notes. Um, that's why we're still a small channel, my bad. Oh, 
Wesker. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? We don't really need the pistol, but I'll take it. So Jill and Chris's run is almost similar. There's just a few minor differences. And we're gonna play with the infinite pistol again. I normally do my Chris runs with knife only. But I don't feel like sitting here an extra hour, <laughs> to be honest. Because yeah, it takes that long, dude. No knife there because it's hard. You nasty. Why are you gay? You are gay. Okay, examine the arrowhead and we're gonna place it in. Open sesame. Do the catwalk. <laughs> okay, we'll grab the key from the back. Will you remove it? Yes, please. So, Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, and a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Not even close, baby. So we skipped most dialogue when we played Joel, so this time I will read documents if that makes sense. So there's a minor change right here. I can't remember if the zombie dies, but we need the small key right here. Yeah, it doesn't die. So he's gonna break through the door once we run past. Okay, we use the small key. You see, if you didn't pick up the pistol, which we won't use anyway, we could have made a full heal there. Honestly, can't remember what we get here with Chris. It is a dagger also, I'll take it. So, using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip the defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive menu. Then select an equip command. So the one thing I dislike about this is it auto-uses it. Which is actually not cool.
Okay, so we're not going to use the grenade launcher. We're not going to use this gun. We're going to pick up another small key. Uh, but we also need two slots for the lighter. Uh, and the dog whistle. So we need two slots. However you want to do that. I mean, in theory, it will just be better to do this for now. When we played Jill, the zombie up here grabbed us. He's never supposed to grab you. He's supposed to try and grab you once you're against that wall. So... Okay. A botany uses medical herbs. It is well known a fact that there are uh, there exist many plants that are credited with medical healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will uh, sample three herbs that are native uh, to the Arkley Mountains and briefly outline each of the med uh, medicinal uh, qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct med medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes neutral toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in mag magnified effect. We will outline the effects uh, of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, uh, feel free to experiment on your own. The true knowledge is only acquired through experience. So we didn't get a lighter. That is... Oh man, I skipped that. So I think Chris is lighter then. Oh, we have the lighter in our inventory. So then that means I didn't have to put something down. Where do we get another small key? Oh man, are you kidding me right now? I ran past the small key that we need. I mean, we can get one at the bottom also. I don't really want to run this way. Okay, so there's definitely going to be crimson heads in this game because we screwed up our pathing. Um... So the small key is right here. This is where the small key is. Come on, man. Haven't played Chris in a long time, okay? And Chris's run is kind of confusing because I don't play him often. If I normally play Wii One, it's it's with Joel. Inventory space is really fun. Okay, so now we got the small key, we got the dog whistle. So that means <coughs> everything is awesome. So that's where we need to use the old key, use the dog whistle.
And that's all she wrote. Press the switch on the dog collar. You have to press the button from behind. Destroy the dog whistle. We don't have to kill. Okay, now the crimson head will stand up. That crimson head is a problem sometimes. Grab the key, then you will die unless you put the key back or have the fake key. The fake key you get in the dog color. not grab you since you're behind so this guy can be a problem but if, as long as you tap your square button you should be good i don't know why for some reason i think we should meet rebecca here i feel like dropping this key but i'm also scared Okay, not so lucky. We want to get a headshot on that one because he turns to a crimson after the piano. Since you have to run past him like 10 times. Okay, so we have the key now to meet Rebecca. She'll definitely 100% be here. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place... Get your team out of here. Demons... everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Gotta go faced. Richwood! Richmond needs us. Richwood! <laughs> I mean, Richard. Boom, headshot, we got it. So we need to run faster or the one with grenades is gonna catch you. So we didn't kill. So we're gonna drop the key for the emblem. Grab the serum. We have our lighter on us. OK, 
Okay, he's dead now, but we'll turn into a crimson. Come on, Chris, what are you doing? By the way, two greens heal you full in this game, no matter the difficulty you play. I think two greens heal you full in all games. You don't have to combine green and red. This is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? Okay, this is really unfortunate because we just spawned the zombies in this room. But I think if we stick to this wall... Yeah. Okay, so we can head back to Richard's area or get the other two gas... Uh, the other two masks. I think we might just do that. Because these guys will turn into a crimson. So it's the same password, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Mystery box of doom. Okay, if they stand up and become a crimson now, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, press this. Okay, we can't we can't grab that mask. <gasps> no. No.
Okay, so I know where the mask is. Oh, sorry, the small key is that we need to get. And we will get grabbed, getting the key. Um, I don't have inventory space for him. Wait. We'll have to heal. We'll have to heal, so... So it's in this room. We will have to heal, so... Now we'll have to run all the way where we were. Wait, we used two heals and we're still on caution. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good, dude. So yeah, we have to run this path because it's way safer than the other one. So yeah, we're only carrying three masks because we need the other slots to be heals. Oh my goodness. We're off to a really bad start, bro. There is a trick I can show you guys. Uh, this one's in the mask or in the chest. Just have to push both sides of the chest and it opens. So, over here, if you stand here, they can't reach you. You can't see anything, though. But once we have all four masks, they will not fight you anymore. You see, going there is too risky right now. I'm trying to think where some heals is. We can go to the area with the dog. Uh, there's a full heal. Where we killed the dog.
Okay, so now... We need to go where Richard was to unlock the final mask. Uh, there should also be two plants here. Okay, switch on the light here. And since I'm playing with infinite pistol, I need to walk backwards into this room for this guy to try and grab. Nice. Get the music notes. My Joel run is so much smoother because I've played it so many times in the past. Okay, so we have killed the zombie already. Push this box once. That's far enough. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Whether you say yes or no doesn't matter. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. She's gonna practice regardless whether you say yes or no. Okay, so we do have the emblem on us. Um, there's only one thing that needs to happen. You need to run to the hole and back. for it to trigger her being done. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! This makes perfect. Huh? What's this? Practicing open doors. Are you all right in there? Yeah. I'll be better if you show me them nips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You little cowgirl. Come here. Okay. 
Okay, so you just move the uh, the large one twice. Doesn't matter which direction. I'm gonna run the other way so we can get some loot, at least the first aid spray. Because this boss is not tickling, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna run the normal route that I would run always. That zombie will disappear. But don't worry about him. That's almost a crimson head. He will also disappear. I left some bullets in the room. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Whisker. Oh my god. Oh my god. No Grimson, sit your ears down. What, the zombie's not here? Oh my goodness! And I'm red limping, bro. I can't go to the bus now. Are you kidding me? Okay, where do I get heals? Need to think about this. Under the stairs? But there's a explosion zombie there. Bro. I have one heal to fight the boss. This is gonna be very difficult. I don't know where else is heals. <gasps> Inside our chest. Inside our chest, there's another heal. Dude, so many mistakes already. First aid spray inside the chest. Is it not a crimson at least? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Oh man. Treat your wounds? Oh man, she could have healed us. I wasted my planties. Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. I wasted two green plants. I forgot Rebecca Canillas. Bro, there's just absolute zero chance for me to play this game knife only now. Oh my goodness, if he grabbed us there, it would have been game over. Okay, first boss fight. We got two heals. We hope we push him to the floor and then we'll beat him. Once he grab. <laughs> oh dude, I am so bad today. I'm so sorry guys that you have to sit through this. I'm so sorry.
Nice, okay. Now it's first boss time. Goodness. Forgetting small keys, forgetting last mask, forgetting half to healing. We literally used all our heals so far. If this boss grabs you from the back, he always falls to the floor. He didn't fall to the floor, but we're still green. Okay, fight went pretty well. Use no heals. Okay, since we're playing this difficulty again, there's gonna be a grenade zombie here. You can't shoot him, or you'll die. So, move back against the wall, and then run. We got a flash grenade and a first aid spray. So over here we only need the crank so we can put down those, some heals. So this password is fairly easy, it's just bottom right corner. Both of them. Over here is where you'll get the magnum if you do the whole bug puzzle. But ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, we'll put down two heals, save for the next boss. By the way, I also think we don't need this key. Not anymore. So hold down square and run, square and forward. As soon as you start swinging, just hold square still and press back. 
Wait for the hand to go all the way down. If you run any time that her hand is still swinging, you'll take damage. And she does a one-shot, but you'll go to instantly red HP. So, there's a zombie here. Just trying to avoid. I don't know why I was looking this direction. Normally, he just stands there. And we call her Mona Lisa, because she her name is Lisa Trevor, but she's a Lisa that moans, okay? This is Chris. Brad, come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad, Stars Alpha team, Bravo team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. Things broken. So normally, if you just run forward, you're you're past the the doggy fast enough. Hear the waterfall in the distance. It can't be. While it ears. It's just good practice to keep that path, whether there's snakes here or not. Okay, get the red book. I'm also gonna grab the heal because we have a very bad run at the moment. That is a green planty with a blue, so it's a poison. So there's two ways to do this box push. Uh, the faster way would be to push it over this one right here. Like that. No, not the ink ribbon. The grenade. Or flashbang. Um... You know what, dude? Maybe you should just keep the first aid spray. We can't get poisoned for a while now. So now I can just climb over the smaller box and we won't take damage. So there's a zombie that came in. That wasn't there before. Oh my goodness, it still can happen. Give me a fright. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So climbing over the bigger box is just a lot safer. So push once. And once. Boom, 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 boom. So we're gonna push all three boxes so we can actually run over it in the water. I mean, it's not nearly as complicated as original zero box pushing. We have to keep turning something to have like certain spots open. Okay, we're just gonna get full HP here. Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard! Nice. So if you hug the railing, you have a lower chance to get hit. Because they sometimes just leave you alone. So that's what happened there. If I didn't hug the railing, we would have taken damage. So now we're just going to check the valve number. One. So that's the right one, then the left one, and then your pressure number. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Water has been completely drained. Is what I'm talking about. So the first... Well, I mean, they can't bite you from here. There's only one danger, and that's this big one right here. 
You can get in front of him, he won't touch you, but... There is a way to dodge this, I just don't know how to. So I prefer just to take the normal route of pushing this in. So now he won't one-shot bite you. Because he would one-shot you if you don't do that. And you don't know how to dodge it. But yeah, anyone want some sushi? It's fresh. And sometimes we might get a Rebecca cutscene for this boss. And it would really suck if it does. Because I can't remember how... To make the colors, the V-Jolt. And out of all bosses, uh, this is the easiest one with pistol only, as long as you know a pattern to run. I think it's only if you unlock that door. You'll have to get a V jolt with uh with Rebecca. With the knife only, I think you want to get the V jolt. Uh because the boss is a little bit weaker, about 20% weaker. Well, with pistol only, uh, you don't need that at all. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in various papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an in interesting uh, new fact became clear. We learned that the chemical in the UMB family, UMB20, or number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations uh, prove correct, the V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant. Uh, the entire plant should be dead with, within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing VP and UMB chemicals in the specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling uh, these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The, uh, the characteristics of each UMB chemicals are as follows. Number 3 is red, yellow 6 is yellow, uh, UMB 7 is green, UMB 10 is orange, VP 17 blue, and VJOLT dark brown. Use the book. Okay, let's see. Am I unlucky enough? To, yeah, I am. Maybe not. It's 
So you run specifically to this corner. And you just look for the top left thing if it's gonna split. I ran too far down, I would say. He's off HP. There we go. And of course, we'll get Rebecca to touch me again. You don't understand what I'm saying? <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have... watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Don't be too glad, girl. Come here, touch me. Hey. Come here. Stop running away. Accept me. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Yeah, would you? Thanks. <laughs> Be strong, Rebecca. What the heck is she doing with her eyes, bro? Wesker! Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Should I just grab a blue plant? Or do you feel lucky, punk? That's too much heals, dude. Honestly. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. No poison right now, that's what I'm talking about. Is 
there, yeah, there's more heals here. Oh, there's no heal. Grab the dagger, dude. Goodness. A lot of shotgun shells as well. Okay, we're on yellow healing. By the way, it's super risky to run past those uh, hunters right there. Because they run on stairs very fast, and those specific stairs, you can get body blocked. Which just equals death. Unless you have a shotgun, of course, because it's one shot and they're laying on the floor. They're not dead. So I kind of feel like we should save. The way I'm playing right now. November 29, 1967. I can't get out. I tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with uh, from uh, formal dihyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes. But that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. Jessica's his wife, by the way. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why, why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too uh, obsessed with the designing this ga a ghostly mansion. I should have known better. November 31, 1967. It was dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the match uh, uh, I had uh, to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved onto the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here. And I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in the whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. My God, justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor.
Why didn't you just press the button, dude? Lucky or unlucky? Or we're lucky. Very lucky. So we're going to have to waste some heals here. I don't think we need the small key. Okay, that's why it's the, the, the small hill. Okay, this part coming up now is kind of sucky, but we have to do it. Okay. I didn't know you could take damage from that. Well, we have an inventory slot, so let's do this already. Okay, there's two gems here. You only need one to continue on with the game. And uh, that's the red one. Uh, the yellow one is you place it by a snake statue. And then you get um, shotgun ammo with Chris. With Jill, I think you get acid rounds. Uh, but the second one you'll place gives you... Uh, the second one you place gives you... Um, uh, ammo disc and that is if you want to go for the best ending in the game you'll need that ammo disc okay so we drop that key we have the battery we have the crank so we need the blue book stall which we're gonna get right now so i'm gonna do the whole snake boss without a heal i think we'll just carry a heal on us Okay, hopefully we don't get grabbed here. Nice. So at the at the snake boss, we are gonna get another plan. So I will see if I can mix in the plant already. Oh, there's no plant there. Snake boss is fairly easy. Um, with infinite pistol. If you play with the upgraded shotgun that you get from saving Richard, he still dies regardless. He's like two hits, three hits. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's the blue book. So obviously, we'll have to waste the seal now. 
So there's only one more place to go uh, with this key. So after we use the key, uh, we'll have one more inventory space. And then we can combine the gem uh, with the chest we get. Solve the puzzle and then two items turn into one, if that makes sense. So for where we're going to go right now, you just have to make sure you have a few items in your inventory. I would I would suggest having a heal as well. And look at the path I'm running as well. If you run the other way uh, to this location, uh, you will spawn hunters in... Uh, this is the longer path, but it is the safer one by far. So now the key is out of our inventory. And obviously you don't have to kill. I'm going to also pick up the, the dagger. And you can, you can decide whether you want to save Rebecca or not. Um, if you save Rebecca, uh, you have to fight the final boss more than once. If you don't save her, you only have to fight the final boss once. So it depends on you whether you want to play it on easier or harder. So combine. Combine. There we go. So I always like to put this piece in first. Because then you can understand like how it should look like. Open up the key, and then enter the room. Rebecca! Is she upstairs? Gonna just grab my item here. I don't think you have a set time to get there, just by the way. It just has to be fast ish. So grabbing a heal because we have to fight the hunter here to save Rebecca. There's a crimson. Oh my goodness. Job's done. Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good. Clearly. Clearly. Typical women scream for help and then literally pee your pants. Uh, I can do it myself. Okay. Okay, dude. What 
Well, that could have gone better. So we got one hit from the dogs, and then I'll heal. I'm more scared of the poison than the, than the dogs, though. From these little snakes. Nice, the path was perfect. So no longer getting poisoned. For the rest of the game, I, if I'm not mistaken. Triple kill. Okay, so we're done with that crank. We're gonna get another one, but we're done with this one. Is that you, Chris? Don't come any closer, Chris. Why not? Because my feet stinks, Chris. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, well. Enrico! Double crosser. Still wondering why he said umbrella. Because he should have said whisker. Who could it be exactly? He leaves you with a question mark. Like, what? Who's the bad guy now? Who's the double crosser? Okay, so we need that crank. Now, there's two hunters in that room. You can avoid both of them. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we can get poison stall with the planty. I'm oh, sorry, with the spider. Like, I'm sure we're gonna heal, but I don't know. Maybe not double first aids. And if we do heal, it's not that bad, because we're either going to leave behind a first aid spray or use this one and get the other one. Can we even get the other one? No, we can't. Okay, so we're gonna put down that gem. 
Also not that emblem for now. Might be the better option. Keep forgetting we're playing Chris, bro. Like Chris has inventory issues. Where Jill has daddy issues. I would rather prefer daddy issues over inventory issues, to be honest. Oh, snap, there's a huntard here. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, we're not poison. Stand up! For the champions, for the champions, stand up. Okay, now we're going to use the crank three times on this one. After you close your inventory, it's gonna roll forward. You can just hold down forward. Don't even have to run. Because I'm a boss. So there's the first aid spray I was talking about. Two and a half pushes. Should get you to squeeze through there. But, you know, I'm a bit fat today. That should be perfectly in distance. Nah, it's too far. Yeah. Okay, in the room coming up, there's a hunter, but uh, you can just avoid him by just holding down uh, forward and run. Over here, just hold on forward and run. Easy peasy, baby. Okay, put down the knife. So, with this hunter, you want to stick to the left wall. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna get bloody, uh, body blocked. Bloody blocked. That sounds fine also. 
Okay, so we grab this lid. And then combine those two. And use it. And the password is 4231. So, the little trick uh, with her here, you just want to run the wrong way first. Um, so she doesn't spawn in front of you. Want to get this elevator down. Because inside that box is a... a is a flamethrower. And we need that to open up the door. But obviously, once we crush the thing to break the box, it becomes a broken flamethrower. Not that it matters, though. There's a cool trick here uh, with the box. You can actually look at the bottom of the floor. Once the thick line and the end of the box meets like right there you could just go the other way and push it and the box will get pushed left more once it falls in by itself Grab the broken flamethrower, then we need to make sure we have the emblem in our inventory. So the box is right here. Get the emblem. Because we're on our way to the final area of the game now. So again, spawn her in the wrong way. Grab the lever. So we need to put the flamethrower in there. Okay. Now we're in Mo <coughs> Good news. Now we're in Mona Lisa's room. Yes, she has a swimming pool in her room. How cool is that? So this is where she sleeps. There's our bed. So you can use that box also to get the emblem if you forgot. Make sure you dodge them zombies. So this one again in front of us, we'll just hold left. To run a little bit more left. There's gonna be a zombie in front of us. You just like hold on running forward. It will not grab you. It will try and turn around, but it will miss.
Okay, so there's one more thing we need to grab, and that's the actually full emblem here. So this one right here. Needs to get with us also. And then the safest route down is through here, because there's no enemies. It's also the faster route down. Because we need to get to the main hall below the stairs. This box. I think I did read this on Jill, but I'll read it again for you guys. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10, 1967. A progenitor virus administrated. Jessica. Administrative virus type A. Plas for what? Plasmalizing. Plasmalizing of the tissue during cell activation. U uh, virus fusion. Negative. Ac Action disposed. Lisa, administrated virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed. Uh, constant results. Status, continue protective observation. George, action terminated November 30, 1967. There's a journal left by someone, November 14, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot that they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that uh, we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was f a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to f give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me. So she do uh, doesn't go away. Because mom's uh, sad when I meet her without her face. November 17, 1907. Uh, from inside box. Scent of mummy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Feel, uh, steal a rope in the way. Can't see mother because for stones. There she is. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Trevor. Okay, first aid spray. And we need both books. By the way, damaging Lisa here doesn't, like, matter. Unless you have the infinite grenade launcher. Then you can shoot her off the platform. Chris, this way. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Okay, I was a bit scared there. Can you shoot more? Yo, Whisker, be useful. <clears throat> no, don't eat me. Oh, dude. Chris, shoot more, dude. If she's killing me here because I fall off, I'm gonna be angry at you. There we go. That works for me.
What do you have to tell me? Tell, talk to me. I'll investigate this area a little further. <laughs> oh man. What do you want to investigate? The the, the skeleton. Okay, blue book first. And then the red book of doom. Was too close. But that one will for sure turn into a crimson. We want this one to grab us, actually. So now he can't turn into a crimson. Very important for him to not turn. Okay, so it's John. And the password is Ada. Like Ada Wong. And this password is Sal, C E double L. So, what we're doing here is just opening up doors. So, two doors we need to go to. First one is up here. We need to type in this password. 8462. And then we get a key. So I go and open up the wrong door first, so that this key will disappear out of our inventory. So, if you go for the good ending, you need to go into that room. You get a bullet. Everybody gets a bullet. Okay, we need to kill this thing also. Boom, headshot. Okay, so now, the reason why we kill it is because we're gonna carry something that will explode if we take damage. So we clear out everything until the capsule. So from now on until the end of the game, we just have to kill one more zombie. Maybe two more, but I think it's just one. So 
So into this room. Okay. So now we need to put this in here, refill the capsule. And this thing will explode if you run, so don't run. And you'll also get to, it will also explode if you take damage from anything. Or shoot your gun. I honestly think it's a very stupid mechanic. I died by this too many times. Okay, there we go. Oh, hi there. Sorry, did I run too fast for Rebecca? Solving puzzles and stuff, I'm my bad. Should have gone slower the way you like it. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Wesker the woman beater in every game, dude. He has to just show that he's beating women. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. 
<laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Come on, you test tube freak! Why is he walking that way? Dude, I don't care about the monitor. Touch my girl. Careful what you touch, goodness. <laughs> Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. What pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor virus. The prototype of a uh, parasite, which we had delivered from the lab laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adv adverse reaction. Lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was in incubating in the sample specimen uh, specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be the more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Uh, through further modification and testing, I was able to uh, derive a method to create that G uh, that uh, surpasses the performance of T. This was the breakthrough uh, that would change further of the B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alex's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely, uh, completely verify my findings. William Birkin Where's my elevator music? Hey. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. So if you did import all three MO discs, you can now go rescue Jell, since this unlocks all the locks.
But we didn't go for best ending, so... So we'll only have three first aid sprays. It's okay. Systems activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. <laughs> Shit, it's those nasties again. Chris, if Brad's still up there, please try to get in contact with him. But leave them up to me. All right. Clean him up. No problem. She's gonna use that tiny pistol against a, a hunter. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, girl. Let's see how far you get. Okay, I couldn't move. There we go. You need some milk? Not even close, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? Suck. I mean, not even close. Say hello to my little friend. Hasta la vista, baby. Just 
Imagine ending a, a game mid-sentence, dude. This case was just too strange. You did a fine job. <laughs> just too... Didn't even save, bro, because I'm too good at video games, honestly. <laughs> well, there you go. Two hours, three minutes, and we made so many mistakes. Like, so even with all the mistakes, we could still unlock the infinite uh, uh, rocket launcher and the infinite pistol. Um, Because you need to finish the game under two and a half hours, which is very easy to do in this game. If you play this game correctly, uh, your game should be around an hour and 40 minutes. Um, if you don't run around too much, but yeah. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Haven't found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. Damn it! Make for that mansion. Enter the survival horror of doom. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp.
a dining room. I should maybe install a no door mod quickly. One second. Okay, it should be installed now. Let's have a look. That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Got cold feet already? That's not like you. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Better report this to Wesker. 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 Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna play with Infinite Pistol. Um... I see that there's another channel that's also 24-7 streaming Resident Evil, and uh, he, he does always infinite ammo. And I think the reason being is because, like, people prefer games being faster, so... Having door skips that could, like, destroy, I don't even know, 10 minutes uh, in the total of the run, so it could be really good. By the way, if you, if you tap your run button while on stairs, you go up faster. Playing the game on normal difficulty, but obviously it's New Game Plus. Goodness, bro. It took so long to try and grab. What the heck? Should have maybe read the document. Uh, also for the live stream 24-7, I am trying my best to be there as much as I possibly can. Obviously, I'll talk between recordings or when I'm not recording or, you know, I have the chat 
open when I'm awake, so... I'll be as active as I possibly can. Well, that could have gone better. We lost our dagger. I should have read that as well. <laughs> we'll have to remind ourselves to read everything with Chris then. Instead of Joel. Because I'm not going to read the documents twice. Oh, there's something cool here that you can do with Joel. Look at the bouncy. Yep. this just for a dagger, my buddy. Good news. These daggers is extremely strong on the first boss. Not even close, baby. Okay, so now we have our gun. <sighs> now what? I wonder why he was standing a different direction. That guy is never standing like that. Oh, I'm a little bit too far away, I guess. I think I'll, re yeah, we'll read every all of this with Chris since I missed out on so much already. Could have gone better for sure. <laughs> I should remove the pistol, dude. I was like, where am I going now? I can't remember. Going to blow the dog whistle now.
It's going to be fun. Okay, switch it on. Or switch it open. Oh, snap, dude. <laughs> I was gonna grab the planty first. But yeah, now it's no longer grabbable, that's for sure. Do we need anything here? No, we don't. Nailed it. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That was the one to get a headshot because playing a little bit higher difficulty, meaning he will turn into a crimson. And he's definitely sucky to deal with. Once we want to play piano. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. Uh, uh, what did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. So let's go. Poor Richard, man. What do hate? If you guys want to know how it happened to Richard, you can watch one of the Chronicles that we covered on this channel. I don't know if I'm going to cover it for this series as well. I think we'll mainly just play the smaller Resident Evil games, meaning faster finishing games. So I think after Resident Evil... Do we... I don't know, man. I was gonna try and kill him, but he's literally too close to kill him with this gun.
So we have faster finishing Risen Evil, so... What will that be? Visible zero, one, two, three. I mean, zero HD, one HD, two original, three original. Uh, then we'll have uh, four. We'll have four remake. We'll have seven and eight. Th yeah, three remake, which we already covered. I don't think we're going to finish any of the, like, different storylines, right? I don't think we'll finish Code Veronica X again. I don't think we'll do Revelations. Because they are all longer games. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? It's just easier and faster to kill him. Yeah, luckily I didn't put away the lighter. Because I was thinking about it. Very good, very good. Don't go changing on me. He's turning into a crimson. Yeah, and then maybe like once a month, if the stream does well, we'll like, you know, swap out one of the Resident Evils for another run. Or maybe just add one to it or something like that. For now, we're just building up the catalog. I mean, the more I think about it, like, there's so many games we still have to finish on this channel. Like, honestly. And it's it, it just feels like every single month that list just gets bigger and bigger. I also keep thinking to myself, like, I'm wasting time playing the biggest uh, single-player games. I 
I should most probably just play the latest games, whatever it is. Indie, big, triple A, doesn't matter. But it's not feasible. I feel like new games is way overpriced, to be honest. Majority of the games. Something like Elden Ring DLC is worth the money, right? Because like it, it takes you like a week to finish the game. But even that is like... If you think logically about it, for a full-time gamer like me that's like playing an insane amount of games, how much money this will add to just playing the latest games? No poison this time, Abri. No! So yeah, it's uh like, it doesn't matter how hard I want to work on this channel, like, we have such a disadvantage to others, right? The majority of the bigger channels, they get, like, games either for free or they get it, like, early access and free. And if they don't, they have an absurd amount of money anyway, so, like, they could just buy it. So I'm honestly hoping that, you know, some companies would eventually find this channel and they find what we do interesting and want to contribute you know their games onto the channel because we are pretty much relying on that to happen eventually so i'm gonna go here without any no we have to get heals We have eels, we had eels, good news. I don't think we need the key anymore. No, no, we do. Pretty much we just have to hit luck. Get lucky on the channel, I think. For a majority of the people to find it, and hopefully there's a, a lot of developers themselves also joining, because that would be great. Because ultimately I want to become like uh, one of the biggest Let's Play channels, if that makes sense. that covers the most games. And I think I covered m more games than majority of the bigger channels, by the way. We're getting, well, we finished about, what, 230 games in total now? 230? 
That's a lot, man. Also, if you remember, obviously, you get uh, early access. And I'm almost like two weeks ahead with content uh, creation. And we release six hours of content each day, so... Okay, we should have gone and grabbed. Nice. No, he didn't fall off. Gotta go fast, baby. Okay, so first boss down. Well, that could have gone better. Time for Mona Lisa, baby. Lisa Trevor that is moaning the whole time. They could have also added a berry run on this game, even if it was like a DLC. Hopefully Mona Lisa don't hit us, bro. She hits so hard. Okay, we need that crank. Okay, oh. So to dodge her, you just hold down your run button and press forward. And as soon as she starts swinging, you just uh, hold backwards. And then she would obviously miss because she's anticipating for you to run forward.
Also, guys, if you don't know, we are accepting a game sponsors. I'll talk about that after this cutscene. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Now, in every every place we post content on this channel, uh, in the description and also on the homepage. Um, at the very top, you'll see it as well. We have a sponsor game link that will take you to an Excel sheet. On the older game, on the older, I'll talk about now. On the older videos that we posted, it's called Roadmap. So it was just me keeping track of like, you know, all the games we finished, so we only play a game once, but... But yeah, so you guys can donate like $5 and tell me what game to play. That is the only feature that makes this channel extremely unique compared to others. There's no other channel that I know of that does this. So you essentially can just tell me, hey, listen up, buddy. I want you to play this. And I'll be like, hey, listen up, buddy. Are you going to pay me for my time a bit there? You know what I'm saying? And then uh, you'll say, listen up, buddy. Check your PayPal. And I'll be like, okay. Not poisoned. So that's essentially what it comes down to. I mean, it's you guys saying, "Hey, listen, this game is good enough to be on the channel, and you you loved it. It's one of your favorite games." And obviously, there's quite a few rules that applies to it, right? No nudity is a uh, it's a big one I need to emphasize, and the, I feel like the second biggest rule is to only cover a game once. And there are exceptions, though. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Hopefully that remains open, because the last time I played the game, it wasn't open. I remember I could have pushed it beforehand. And the reason why I do that is because you don't want the zombie to be a crimson once you come up. So you have to be extremely fast. So you don't want to kill him yet. Unless you get a headshot, but... I'm I'm not running around with a shotgun at the moment. But 
like it, it, there is exceptions to the rule, but like on average, I would just say, you know, talk to me first before you sponsor. Let me check out the game, see if it's uh, in the category of us finishing it. Don't just donate and say, hey, play that. My goodness, bro. We got the headshot. That's all that counts. But yeah, like, someone could say, hey, listen, play Code Veronica X on, on this live stream. But the problem is, though, it takes me about eight hours to finish the game. And that is just like... I don't know, it's, it's a very hard game, let me just say that. For me. Especially since it doesn't matter how many times you play this game, you don't ever unlock infant ammo, ever. So I, I just honestly feel like the replayability on it is extremely small. I mean, I finished Resident Evil 8. I, I don't even know how many times. I did a run with every weapon, including knife only. The same with uh, this game, actually. On my previous channel. Didn't take damage from the sharkies. Okay, valve one. Water is completely drained, Mabri. There is there. Uh, almost, uh, couldn't find the direction we have to go. By the way, there is a way to get past the shark without 
electrocuting him. Well, I honestly can't remember how to do it. So I just take the safer route instead of getting one shot. game feels so much faster without doors. Honestly can't remember if this uh, bees poison you. Nailed it. Ah, oh, I walked too close. Dude, it's such a long stun, man. Half HP? Wait, what the heck, bro? What are you doing, eh? That's why your mom doesn't like you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. No way do I have to run again. Again. Goodness. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. 
I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Some people in my live chat, when I was streaming this game a lot, said that that's how they knew that Chris... Uh, sorry, that... Wesker is suspicious. Because he said, go back to the other mansion. Like, what? That's a hint that you should uh, unlock the doors, bro. Like... Honestly, I don't think we need this key anymore, but I'm scared to actually drop it. This is Jill. What? This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad! Can you hear me? Brad! Brad! Shit. It's broken. Okay, so we have a, a blue planty with us for if we do get poisoned by these snakes. Oh uh, no. Whoa, it still worked. There's a very specific way to run it between them to not take damage. And they have a low chance. I would say about like 20% chance to poison you. If even that high. Maybe like 15%. Hunter's time. There's a way to also do this, but I'm so scared. I don't think we have any extra heals here. We don't. So we'll have to start combining. This is Jill.
the heck? I was tapping that X button, bro. Okay, hopefully we don't get poison from this one. Oh, he's flexing. We got this. We actually want to... Uh... Take the red plant. Okay, turn that on for the power. I got the power. Try to get his head blown off, but that ain't gonna work. Do the elevator dance, baby. Hopefully we don't get absolutely destroyed here. We'll be fine. this gem. I think inventory space wise we should be okay just don't grab me please oh nice not even close baby time to do the snake dance Very good, very good.
I mean, if we could do it like Resident Evil Zero, where instead of picking it up and then using it, we could just use it from the ground. I would obviously do it, but, you know, we have no option like that. We're almost done with the uh, the mansion, and then we go to the last section of the game. Well, second last, actually. So, inventory space should open now. There we go. Actually, let's grab this first. Oh my goodness, he's gonna come now for us. Not worth it. Okay, it's worked out. Very lucky. It's puzzle time. I mean, it's gonna be like this, most probably, right? I'm not too sure. <laughs> You can do it. I know you want to. Not even close, baby. Okay, so now we have the battery, we have the crank on inventory. This means we can change the direction of the waterfall. Uh, and then use the battery. So hopefully we don't get poisoned here. That's why I try and get kept my blue planty, but we'll see. Turn, run, turn a little bit. There we go. Nailed it. Not to poison the Mabri. I oh, turned around again. Stupid dog is gonna hurt us. Never mind. Oh, that's not even close. to run past the dog two more times. I think they'll get damaged once. Or the one that's closest to the elevator.
Never mind. I got past them. Okay, double hunters here. Not yet. Soon. So we'll just get the crank. Enrico! Is anybody with you, Jill? Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <sighs> traitor? Who? Riveted does definitely a professional. Wait, he's holding something. <laughs> what are you holding there, my brother? Dude, it was so cold this morning. Now it's really warm. My goodness, what the heck? Okay, no longer need this anymore. And we'll put away this also. I don't know why though. Breathe, girl. I want the I want the day with her. She'll breathe like this. You know what I'm saying? Didn't get hit by it. I'm not even sure if you have to kill the boss spider boss I don't think you have to honestly
forgot how this room was laid out. Dude, we have five stun batons. That's quite a lot, dude. We're not gonna get grabbed for a minute. Come on, Joe, run around the thing. Goodness, woman. Women. Should be a perfect push. Nailed it. Show the bouncy boobies, Jill. So bouncy, bro. Look at those. <laughs> Dude, it's like. It's even bouncing out of proportion, bro. Goodness, get up, bro, equipment. What do you think? I'm dead. Oh! I was like, I should take the, the corner wide. No, it's it's a tight corner. I could have gotten so bad, bro. This is Jill. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. That sound it could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Are you sure about that? Uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, Mona Lisa spawns on the side that you run to first. So you want to trick her to get to a direction. And then you run the other way. It's, it's literally that simple. Dude, it's so warm, man. Goodness. Also, most probably all the games that you guys are interested in to watch, this channel most probably has covered it already. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Barry! I mean, 
220 games. A majority of them is like, you know, triple A known companies. And there's still so many games to play. Oh my goodness, dude. Should just potentially pick up that green plant here and just heal. We do have enough time to do that. While the receiver is open. Because I don't want to die, I don't want to die. So this thing opens up for a set time. So I'm pretty sure we can pick this up, run, use it in time still. There we go. All of this just for this boxy. Goodness. Yes, sing for me, woman. Should just pretty much be a straight run back to the final area of the game. Dude, it's so warm for the first time here that I... I'm considering switching my fan on, dude. But I am sweaty. My knees is weak and my arms is heavy. This vomitant does sweat already. It is mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but I'm nervous and calm and ready to pop down. And I guess I'm forgetting what he wrote down. He wrote. <laughs> I mean. Just have to remember to grab this every time. I, I forgot to do it once. It wasn't cool, dude. So we have like, I don't know, three more enemies to kill, somewhat like that. And four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a boss. Yeah, it's six. Maybe seven. What are you doing, girl? Maybe I'll read this for you guys. It's kind of sad. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10, 1967. Progenitor virus administrated. Jessica. Administrative virus type A. So it just shows that Jessica, which is Lisa's mother, um, they are both infected with two different viruses. Obviously, they don't know it, right? And they were separated from each other. So George Trevor is the person who built the mansion. That is their, that is Lisa's father. Uh, there's a journal with... The, yeah, so here we go. November 14, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. 
I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we, we would uh, escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. I have to find mom. I have to give the face back to mother. I, I, I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so that she doesn't go away. Because mom is uh, sad when I meet her without her face. November 17. We can't even read the numbers there. 197. <laughs> uh, from inside box. Scent of mummy. Maybe a uh, true mother there. Stone box hard. Uh, it hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. Like what we have to do right now. We have two heals. Do we have more? It should be fine. We have three full heals, so... And I feel like if this boss kills you, if Mona Lisa kills you, it's because you get knocked off the cliff. So got to be very cautious and careful. But not always, not always possible to be safe. But I'll try my best. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Okay, sure. Thanks, Jill. We'll get the better ending. It's not the best ending because we're not gonna get Chris. Okay, I messed up badly. Oh my god, we almost died. Barry, you're screwing things up for me, dude. Okay, that works. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Goodness, please don't touch me. So yeah, because we have got, uh, Barry the gun back, we have to kill the final boss twice. But just so you guys know, Barry's gun is the strongest gun in this game. It one-shots anything, including the final boss.
Whoa, there's another one? Okay then, my buddy. We'll most probably become crimson. I should have kept my pistol. So there's an extra enemy. Hope we didn't kill him. John Cena? Adele, wait. And Saul. C E double L. One strong chair, my brie. Don't need the ammo disc. then Don't remove yet because we're gonna kill another one. Not a zombie though. Okay, we got a lucky headshot or crit hit. Okay, grab the fuel tank. Still a lot of crimson ads, so good stuff. He's not a crimson, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's just a home run from here. I mean, a home walk. Home walk. <laughs> Goodness, it's bouncy, Joel. Come here. I need a girlfriend, bro, honestly. You know what I'm saying? We 
we can run again. By the way, if you run with that thing, it just explodes, bro. It's crazy. Happened to me a little bit more than it should have. <laughs> Because you can, like, run walk. And it's so fast. So much faster. But... Risk versus rewarded, you know? We're standing on 39 kills. You could have at least waited up for you know. Let's go. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Just remember that Barry is a Stars member. Well done, dude. You viral cultured freak.
what I'm talking about. Another one bites the dust. Barry! Barry! Uh, uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Well, I mean, it's not like a blood trail we can follow. It's not like we can find Whisker. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Maybe he has an invisible potion that we don't know about. No crimsons, bro. Huh. Hurry! Sure. We have like five uh, blue heels. Contact with Brad, whatever it takes. Okay. I think this is like Resident Evil 2, where you just have to survive against a tyrant, but I'm not entirely sure. Easy dodge, bro. Jill, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Your butt cheeks stink. What are you doing? Uh, swing and a miss, son. You lose. And another one.
Your wife? Yeah, my wife and kids. They always wait up for me. <laughs> Even today, my eldest daughter. I didn't mean it to. It's okay. He's alive. I just know. She's talking about Chris, if you don't know, just by the way. Jill, you did a fine job. 143. 41 uh, creatures dispatched. 380 ammo used. Goodness. Health is 10. 